to meet our first guest. You know him as Dad. The rest of us know him as Martin. Uh, Martin, yeah. welcome. <laughs> nice to see you guys. <clears throat> Well, this is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Best being behavior. Yeah, it's like being home. It's nice. Yes. <laughs> I know. Um, Martin, you know, you've done so much. EastEnders, been in the craze. But we know you, of course, from Spandau Ballet. And you have got this incredible book. Oh, thank and it's you. a real love letter to the 80s, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's called Ticket to the World. It was, it, it, and that, the 80s was my ticket to the world. It's where it all started, you know, me being in the band. Um, and uh, having the success that I did is why Roman is sitting here today, you know. But it was kind of the gateway for me, which um, it was an incredible time, the 80s. Uh, I think to look at the 80s, you have to look at what came just before. And just before the 80s came along, 79, it was all in black and white. That's how we lived. You know, I never had a colour television in my house until late 79. Uh, magazines and newspapers like the NME or... or, or sniffing glue that all the punks used to read, mm. the, the fanzine, was all in black and white. And it was only when we got into the 80s that we had this such huge explosion of colour, which was colour television, smash hits, record mirror, everything turned to colour, and that's, that was the difference. Mm. I, the the nice thing that I know, you know, it's it's nice for me to even see it because I, you know, I knew him very well, and it, it's it, the very first page you've dedicated this book mm. um, to Steve Strange, yeah, who, you know, he was the lead singer of the pop group Visage. He was so key to to style in the eighties, yeah. Why why did you want to dedicate this to him? And I guess what you know, tell everyone, I, I, everyone wants to know what what does he mean to you. Uh, for me, he was. Uh, there were two people that gave me a personality. I always thought, and uh, one was my drama teacher called Anna Sher, mm. when I was only a young kid, and she gave me my good side. And Steve Strange, he gave me the naughty side. And uh, but he was the loveliest man, and he he, for me, opened up so many people's lives. You know, he opened up that club called the Blitz in yeah. Covent Garden, in uh, just up the road from here, and he. He made it possible for them to go on. I mean, the amount of bands that, that were successful that came out of the Blitz and the amount of people that did well, whether it was graphic designers, whether it was clothes designers, Stephen Jones even, like the Milner that made the hats uh, for the Queen. Um, there were so many people that did well. And so he, for me, created what we know as the 80s. Yeah, and it's a lovely tribute as well that you dedicated the book to him. I, I love him dearly. It's one of those guys, you know, in life uh, you always lose the big characters and uh, he, he was, was one it. of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, you talk about fashion and, of course, the 80s, you know, it was about the fashion, wasn't yeah. it? Now, just explain how long it would take you as a band to get ready for, say, a performance on the Tuesday. Well, uh, but, but, but as, a, as a band, it was kind of like... It wasn't as so much as a band to get ready. It was individually. The look. I, I, yeah, the look to go the following week started the minute you left the club on that first Tuesday night thinking about what you were going to wear next week. And, you know, because we never had any money. So it was just about what we could put together, whether it was in um, charity shops or wherever it was in... Just up the road, there was a shop called Lawrence Corner. Right, which we used to sell all secondhand old World War II military outfits. Because new, being a new romantic wasn't about there was a certain style. This was the thing with that whole pop culture. culture. It was about you could be whoever you wanted to be. Uh, whether it was you wanted to dress up as a cowboy, a space cowboy like Steve Strange, you wanted to be a spaceman, you wanted to be anything. anything but you, goes, whatever yeah. it was, you had to be mm. heroic. And it had to be full effort. You were the star of your own personal movie, and that was being a new romantic. Now, what people are going to love about the book is the secrets, that's it. One of the biggest music secrets of the 80s, potentially. Mm. Uh, tell us a bit about your involvement in your hit, True. There wasn't much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to say it, Martin. <laughs> He's told you to ask this, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, Maybe. yeah. Well, listen, it's the biggest regret of my life because because I, I, it was my idea not to put the bass guitar on it because I thought, you know, at the time I'm thinking, you know what, we were in the we were in Bahamas, and I'm thinking, you know what, if I don't do this, I can go out in the swimming pool a bit quicker. But in reality, when I look back, I wished I had it done, and it was all because um, you know we fell in love with uh, imagination. 
Tony Swain and Steve Jolly made a record. You remember uh, Imagination, um, that band, who big hits during the 80s. And uh, they used to use a bass synth on it. Right. So I said, let's do it like them. But in reality, I wish they hadn't. There you go. Well, yeah. loads of secrets like that in the book. Yeah. It's brilliant. Thank you, Martin. Not Ticket my to the world. My 80s story is out now. Yeah, exactly. When you say that you got into Imagination, another band, it was more partying, wasn't it? Uh, now, look, <laughs> for the past five years, uh, time has stood still. <laughs> Uh, it's time to welcome our next guest now. Please welcome Team Tie Dye, better known as Tyler West <laughs> and his dance partner Diane Buswell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's catching on the tie dye. I tell dye. you, you two are fantastic. <laughs> I mean, you got the first ten of the series. Yeah. Uh, Diane uh, being top of the leaderboard as well. I know that's something you really wanted to do. Uh, yeah. Would you put it all down to that? Charleston. I mean, what was it your favourite dance so far? It was. I absolutely loved the Charleston. But we've had a lot of dances that mm. I feel like I go, oh, but that was my favourite, and then that was my favourite. But now, I mean, I have a soft spot for the Charleston. Mm. That was a very good dance. And yeah, being top of the leaderboard—that's yeah. never happened to me before. Well, so thank insane. you very much, you're, Tyler. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you two are fantastic. We said we're manifesting for final, aren't oh, we? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. But that would be Viennese waltz. I don't know whether you saw it, Martin. Craig, he then says that you're bum sticking. Uh, do you know what? I think we all have that problem sometimes, don't we? Where you just bum <laughs> stick it. My bum is really sticking out there as well. Can't lie. Yeah, you just say that to me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it just seems out. I wake up in the morning when I'm making my cereals. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sick your bum <laughs> Terrible, terrible. I mean, uh, Diane, I mean, what can you tell us about this week's dance? Oh, this week's dance is uh, is intense. Mm. Mm. We'll go with that. It's a Paso Doble. I love the Paso Doble. I feel like you're absolutely loving this dance, oh, aren't you, Tyler? living and breathing it. Are I've you? never flared my nostrils so much yeah. in one week. Like, it's How's all, the uh, cape work? Nose faces. The cape work? Yeah, I mean, she is my I cape in this cape dance. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're doing very well. Yeah. But, um, no, we're, we're really enjoying this dance, and it's a different side to us. We're quite fun and bubbly, and this is a very serious side. We have done a tango, which sort of mm -hmm. saw a little bit of that serious side, but this bit. is... This is really dramatic. Okay. I, I, I have to bring him up because it has been, it's been a, a, a phenomenon. It's kind of been a movement as well as this year's Strictly. Uh, Tyler, I'm going to come to you because I know you're a fan. Tony Adams. Typical Arsenal fan, uh, isn't he? Yeah. 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 I mean, look, we're all Arsenal fans here, right? <laughs> yeah. look, 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 Tony Adams, I mean, what, what, what's going on there? I mean, he's just going week to week oh, to week, right? Him. He's literally one of my besties, genuinely one of my besties. We always have a nap around lunchtime on show day as well, and everybody, it's this running thing now every single week, everybody takes a picture of us sleeping there, but we just, we just start chatting, we're mid-story, and then we'll just doze off, and it's beautiful. He is an amazing human being, and he's <laughs> really just, is. he's living and breathing strictly, like, he's yeah. just smashing it week after week. Yeah. Um, and he's not a bad Dancer, he, no, he's, he's, he's good, man. He's he well is, good, Tyler. Yeah, big up, Tyler. Yeah. Uh, but you've had a couple of busy months, Tyler. Yeah. Uh, you ran the marathon, then you jetted off to your brother's wedding. Yeah. And apparently, Martin, he was there for three hours. <laughs> Where? It was Mauritius. Because it was three hours. Yeah. Is it because you wanted to get back for training? I, it was kind of that. I mean, I did get held up at the airport a little bit on their side. Um, I was meant to be there a little bit longer than that. But yeah, I said that to my brother before all of this started. I said, I will never miss your wedding. I'm always going to be there when you say I do. So luckily, I mean, the schedules aligned and I was able to to go, you know. Right? Yeah, I mean, what do you do for family? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. listen, yeah. listen, if you want three hours to go across the world, I ain't going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll send him a video message, maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe just yeah. a voice note. Yeah. A voice note. Yeah. Uh, but look, uh, we've got a question here for, uh, from Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much. Tyler, this one's for you. It says, uh, if you could put any dance move into one of your routines, oh. what would it be? Do you know what? I try to do this, like, every single week, though, and it never runs. It what, never runs. I tried, to put, I tried to put my own little flair, and she's like, and I was like, no, nah, yeah, don't we'll do that. Yeah, we'll that through. Um, Running Man, Cha Cha Slide, any of those things. I could do the worm. I could just like try and do the worm. One <laughs> yeah, week. I don't know where that great. would fit. <laughs> might look more like a slug. At the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cramping my hamstring, but it won't work. Um, yeah. Diane, who's your biggest competition? Oh, I would say all of them. They're oh, all come so, on. No, they really are. Genuinely. Because it, it, you've seen the leaderboard, it goes up and down. It does, and, that's and true. And you genuinely don't know who is going to be in that bottom two every week. It's like, mm. it's Diane, going like this. Is it Tony Hadley? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. It might be. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> um, Martin, Julie yeah. asks, thanks, Julie, uh, are there any Spandau Ballet hits that you thought were bad at first? <laughs> 
Uh, what a, a couple of albums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, albums. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, you know, um, uh, yeah, of course, of course. When I look back at it, but not when you first do them. When you first no. do them, you loved them all. But uh, retrospectively, now I'm kind of a, li a little bit older. Yeah, I can see the bad ones. And to be yeah. fair, taste changes, doesn't of it? You it know, does. and trends change. Of course, Could you justify yeah. it? That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Dad, Dad, real quick, last question from James as well, who said, would Martin Kemp ever take on Strictly? Oh. Yeah. Real quick, real quick. Come on. Yeah, 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 yes or no? Yeah. No, I don't know. OK, I don't, fine, I fine, I fine. I think it's a yes, is yeah. it? Yeah. I think that's a yes, for uh, sure. Brilliant. Um, well, thank you so much. You both, good luck. Thank, thank you very much. Cheers, Looking thank forward you. to your yeah, pasto yeah. and the thank cake you. work. Uh, Strictly continues on Saturday night, BBC One at 6.55 with the results show on Sunday at 7.20. And that is all we've got time for tonight. Thank you so much to our guests, to Martin, to Diane and Tyler. Yeah, we're back tomorrow with Rose, Ailing Ellis and Andy Circus. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.